How's it going? We're going to be going over the white box learning mousetrap car kit that they sent us. It's a rally car kit. I'm going to be talking about the different items that are included inside the kit today. This is the first video you should be watching and then we'll move on from there. First thing should be the obvious mousetrap. Okay? Mousetrap should come looking like this with a yellow piece on it. Okay? Some of this stuff is going to come off of the mousetrap. Some of the stuff we're going to cut off, we're going to use that though. We should also have a lever arm. Our lever arm is used in order to actually connect to the mouse trap and make it actually go. The lever arm should have a hole in it. It should not be bent. This is very soft metal, so I could actually bend this by squeezing it with my fingers. So be very careful when handling this. The next thing is an axle rod. The axle rod is a solid aluminum rod that's going to go in between our wheels in order to make our car actually propel itself. The next thing we have is three rails. What the rails are used for is to actually hold our mousetrap and make a vehicle. The reason we have three rails is because we're given one extra in case our holes are in the wrong location or in case we need to make changes throughout our process. When you are given three different items, okay, and we're only using two of them, I want you guys to take the two best ones because some of these might have there's a couple indents on this one that might make it hard for us to uh, mark up or drill a hole through, stuff like that. Choose the two best pieces of wood that you think are going to work well for your car. The next thing we have is going to be a plastic straw. That's going to be for our bearings. Then we have a little baggie. This baggie has three different items in it. Okay, We're going to have our spools. We have a small, medium, and large spool. We also have gold washers. Those gold washers are going to be what allows our wheels to move in and out on our axle. We have a plastic screw and a plastic washer and a plastic nut. That is for an arm in order to turn your car left or right, mattering on to adjust for steering. That is an option. You do not have to use that. Next thing we have are wheels. We have rear racer wheels. The rear racer wheels are going to be the thicker ones. These are the ones that also come with a rubber band. The rubber band was an option on um, the white box learning simulation, but if you do not use the rubber band in this, your car will not get enough traction in order to actually move in the race. So we're gonna say you need to use those rubber bands. The front wheels are gonna be the thinner wheels. These don't have rubber bands on them. They're just gonna go straight on the axle with the washers. The next thing and last thing we have is a piece of wire. This piece of wire is going to be used on the rear axle, tied up and knotted in order to actually hold our piece of string that's going to make our car propel. And that's everything in the white box mousetrap car kit.